Okay, so I'm back uh, reading this uh, this uh, piece of uh, chart uh, that I read last week with the other instrument. Now I want to measure it with this instrument to see the difference between the two instruments. So I'm ready to measure. I'm in the measure tool and I need to find my chart one of two. Let's push this out of the way. Let's locate the A column and sadly it doesn't uh, okay okay first row is here first row first column I mean to say there's the second column The motor is very important because the strips have to go in at a constant speed otherwise nothing is going to work. So let's try this. See? Works flawlessly. The measurements are appearing here on the screen. Here's column D. Press it and position against the rear rollers and then just gently help the strip go through the machine. I'm on strip D, I'm going to pause the video for now. One question we often need to answer is how good are the measurements we're getting from our instrument? And uh, you saw previously that I re-measure the exact same chart with a, a different instrument a second instrument of the same make and brand DTP 41 so let's see what the difference between the two instruments is so I have measure tool running over here I'm going to come down to this function called comparing and let's see if I can get at the two uh, measurement files the original measurement file will be here and the new measurement file we're taking today will be shown here. So let's open the first measurement file. So the first measurement file, fortunately, does not come up. Here it is. This is the first one, the DC283, and it says first DTP41. So this is the first one. You see, all its measurements were pulled from the file. Now it needs the second one. Let's open it up. Uh, same thing, let's go back to the same place we were. Thank you for these shortcuts. This is the second one. The only difference is the date, yes, and the second one. So here's the difference between the two. This is the average. This is the standard deviation. And this is the worst one, the biggest ones. Uh, you see, a lot of people are using, uh, starting to use, or getting to the habit of using Delta E2000. It's not Delta E2000 proper, it's called the E2000, but who cares. And uh, so with uh, this kind of uh, color difference metrics, look at the what the results are. I have an average Delta E of 0 0.77 between the two sets of measurements. You know, 0.77, that's under 1. That's not half bad. Now, let's look at the worst one. The worst is 1.93. And even 1.93, that's under 2. That's not half bad again. So let's go to the other one, the Delta E original, the one that came up with the formula in 1976. Some people call it Delta E76. Some people call it Delta E AB. But here it is, so 1.2. So we have uh, what? We have lost a little bit of precision, seemingly, uh, meaning the difference between the measurements from the two instruments is a little worse off. And over here, this is expected, the maximum of 3 delta E. That's worse off too. But let's look at that. The best 90%, another one, in other words, 90% of the patches of the 288 patches were only 2.06 delta E away. That's, you know, not bad. 
So if I was to conclude out of this analysis, I would say this instrument is not reading, you know, all that worse than this instrument. Now to make the real, uh, or to push the analysis further, I would now uh, compare these measurements to the uh, measurements from my other instrument, like the 528, and then I would be comparing the two to a third instrument, and and then maybe I would get a different uh, uh, result. Maybe this one would be closer than this one. You see, this is very interesting. By the way, if ever you use this free software, it's available on the Xrite uh, website for download. It's called Measure Tool. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is version 5.05, it could be 5.1, doesn't matter. The latest one I think is 5.1. And this version uh, is able to run all these tools, uh, most of them free. And look at that, I'm under Windows 10 and I'm installed this application and it's running very well because it's still x86 code. And even if it's Windows 10, it's a 64-bit operating system, Windows is still still has all the Win32 libraries. So all the 32-bit codes from these applications are still able to run. But forget about 32-bit drivers. That does not work. Anyway, so back to uh, this discussion. So if I place the cursor on any color patch, I can see... I can't move the cursor anymore, but I can see at the bottom it says reference and then sample and the delta to the right. You see that? I wish I could move my... Uh, I don't think I can leave the patch selected and... No, forget it. Doesn't work. Uh, yes, A1. 2.5. Uh, okay, so it works. So now it means that the difference between the two measurements... Look at that. 3.1 versus 2.5 because the rest is 0 0.5 and 0 and 0 0.8. Not a big difference. So the difference here comes in the lightness. So it could be that this one is in, is reading. Well, you know, from 2.5 to 3.1, that's not a heck of a big difference in lightness value. So, you know, no one could see this kind of difference. Let's jump to this uh, dispatch. A10. A10. See, the reference is 39, and now the sample is 41. Between 41 and 39, that's almost 40, and that's barely bigger than 41. So that's not a big difference in terms of lightness. About the A, 61.6, uh, you could round that off to 62, and you can round that off to 63. So again, not a big difference of 1, but still it adds up. And then 52.9, which is almost 53, and this is 53.5. So, you know, all in all, nothing to worry about. Okay, if I go to A11, same thing. A little bit bigger difference in Delta E, A, B, and so on. I think there's a, a color coding here that uh, the red squares represent the worst one. You see, this is 3.06 Delta E and 3.06 Delta E. In other words... Where's the biggest difference between the two sets of measurements? It's on this yellow. Because we cannot tell what's the underlying value, yellow value or RGB value for the test chart. Because this interface will not show us. Uh, other software can do that, like Babel Color uh, Patch Tool, if you ever have a chance. Uh, but not this software, but you know, you get what you pay for. Mind you, Babel Color and uh, Demo Mode can do quite a lot. Uh, so 90 between 93, ooh, that's a huge difference for the yellow, 7.8, 8.0, 36, 37.3. So I'll probably revisit my calibration, uh, maybe do it uh, over again just to be on the safe side. So there you have it. This is comparing one set of measurement to another set of measurements. And this is the kind of analysis that can be done from uh, the two sets of measurements. Thank you for watching.